Hello, everyone. My name is Jamie Kornakia, and I'm here to tell you why We Play Green believes that football can save the planet. Now, our theory of change is that the speed of the green shift is determined by the amount of people's green actions. But because support for the green shift is so low, the challenge we all face is how do we increase the amount of people's green actions? Thankfully, research shows that by mobilizing just 40% of the global football family, we can create enough support to manifest the green shift. And that's why at We Play Green, we believe we can do this by leveraging and assisting the voices of the leaders of the global football family, which are professional players. Sorry, now, it's very difficult for us to hear you. Maybe you could move your microphone closer. Yeah. Okay. Athletes are the world's most influential people, and this is very relevant because the latest studies show that uh, influencers have the single biggest impact on people's sustainable lifestyle choices today. And in our experience of having an active professional football founder, he, we've noticed that a bunch of athletes you know, want to use their platforms to talk about these issues, but often hold back due to fear of scrutiny, lack of knowledge, or just overall lifestyle constraints. And so that is why we have made the player program. So this is our solution to inspiring, engaging, and assisting professional athletes, not just footballers, in becoming confident and authentic voices for the green shift. Um, this also creates space for our um, planet and our partners to reap the rewards for participating in activities on and off the pitch. Now for the planet. Um, our player program prepares our players to participate in our activation programs, which are bespoke campaigns and events. Um, by selecting uh, athletes through our network, our partners can effectively target their uh, target audiences. So this measures, this creates measurable impact. Um, these girls right here were inspired by our number two community circularity initiative. And um, they have since then adopted the number two in their daily practice, are now known as the Greta Thunbergs of their league, and have started cleanup initiatives in their community in the Netherlands. Um, for our partners, our player program allows them to collaborate with confident athlete voices that are prepared to participate in these activation programs. And as you can see here, some of our players participated in the WWF Team Earth campaign. Um, this was around COP15, and not only did this reach over 100 million people on social media, but it engaged them in creating more support for a global agreement on the nature protection. Now, um, for our players, it equips them with um, knowledge, networking opportunities, personal branding, and post-career uh, opportunities, so it prepares them for life outside the pitch. We offer four levels of participation, and um, this allows them to participate based on their strengths. And as you can see here, they've been recognized by many. Yeah. I don't know if I have some extra time because I had some technical issues, but... I, I give you 15 seconds. 15 seconds? I'll take it. Okay, so, yeah. Um, as you can see here, or I guess not anymore, that our players have been recognized by UEFA, The Guardian, BBC Sport, and more. And at this point now, we're finalizing our player program, so we're making it digital to make sure that our services are a click away, no matter what participation level that they're at. And... Um, yeah, thank you so much for having us, and thank you for the extra 15 minutes, seconds. You are mainly UK-based, or you are looking all over? Uh, we're spread out all around Europe, so technically our headquarters is in Oslo, but I'm based in Berlin, for example, and we have uh, people based in Stockholm as well. Your campaigns are massive. What is the change I'm the most proud of that you actually delivered? through this? That we've actually delivered. I would say we're really proud of the number two community and those girls because they really took it into their own. And our founder, he played in Hermfein in the Netherlands, which is where they're based. And um, they still look up to him. And this is just to show how impactful athletes are even when they leave uh, the places that they play or the places that they're from because they really connect with the community. And so I would say that um, measurable impact was the grassroots mobilization with the number two community. So keeping individuals engaged, mm -hmm. especially busy individuals, mm -hmm. is, is a lot of energy and work. Yeah. How does this work? Do they sign up for a few years or to something? H how do you sustain the engagement with these yeah. players? So we offer four levels of participation. It's care, share, support, and participate. So our athletes, they come to us if they're interested and they can choose how they want to participate based on their strengths and, 
in their preferences. So the athletes that were shown, that were recognized by UEFA and the BBC Sport, those are the more um, dedicated athletes, so to speak, regarding activism. And so they tell us um, how much they want to do, and then we work with them based on that. It's mostly one-on-one -on -one support, but they kind of dictate the pace and what they want to do with that. And with this funding, you plan to scale out to more athletes or strengthen what you're doing here? Already? Yeah, so we need to strengthen before we scale out to more athletes, um, particularly our player program. So as I mentioned, we're in the phase of digitalizing everything. Um, that will take a lot of resources, but also more people like me because I, I work quite closely with the players. So just more resources based on that support.